To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon. Dear students, when you do your article ship, a lot of time it becomes difficult to know how many leaves you have taken and the bigger challenge for you guys is to figure out whether have you taken any excess leave that is a very very big challenge and if at all you have taken any excess leave how much are those excess leave when will your exam attempt be or will the excess leave impact your examination so these are some of the confusion which we faced when we were doing our article ship days so what we thought is we'll get out a feature on our app which will help you to track your leaves and also determine the eligibility for your final examination and not only that if at all you have taken any excess leave it will tell you how many days of excess leave have you taken in fact as you keep updating your leaves you will see how close are you to exhausting your leave quota because institute has its own way of computing one sixth of period served what is to be deducted what is to be added so you need not worry about all of those things we have an excellent feature on our app which you can use to track your leaves, compute excess leaves and determine your final eligibility. So let me take you through the features of our latest app. Now let's see how to track leaves on our app OneFin. Right? So if you have the OneFin app, please open it and if you do not have the app yet, please download it with the link given in the description box. Right? Now once you open the app, you will see this dashboard kind of thing where you have MCQs to practice for free you have option to review the firms and partners you have options to discuss amongst the you know users and you also have free notes for download if you click here or if you just do a swipe from the left side you will see an option called leave tracker so click on the leave tracker you will come to this particular window now here there are no details of article ship added yet so i'll just say add article ship i'll put a firm number okay and i'll put my name right and Assuming I am starting it on 27th of December 2019, so I'll just put put you know start date as that date, and I have to define the end date if it is a terminated article ship, or I can just say it's an ongoing article ship and click on submit. Now once you submit that, what happens? Total number of days served zero because I have not I have not just completed a single day, and then entitlement of leave is given, and when is your actual you know article ship ending? That is on 26th December of 2022 and your exam eligibility is November of 2022 this is a normal scenario now what I'll do is I'll just change this date and I'll, I'll assume that I've started my article ship in 2018 let's say on 27 December itself and once I update that it says yes you have served one year that is 365 days and your actual article ship will end on 26th of December you have entitlement of leave of 182. This 182 is the entitlement provided you have served entire 1085 days, right? Now, as you add your leave details, let's say you add your leave details. I have taken a leave in 2018 or in 2019, 1st January to 31st of January, just for purpose, maybe exam prep, right? I'll just say submit. Now, these leaves get added once you add these leaves it automatically calculates yes you have taken leaves of 31 days and if you only take this 31 days in your entire article ship period your eligibility is 177 let's add some more leaves but i know principal would not be so generous to give you frequent leaves but just for demo purpose first july till 31st july you again took leave i just say submit now total leaves taken is 62 the system will calculate and tell you you were in the article ship for 365 days you have taken 62 days which means actual period served is only 303 and based on that you are entitled for 50 days leave which means there is an excess 12 days of leave and what happens your article ship end date is revised now it becomes 7th january 2022 and your exam eligibility is still not impacted because you are in the last six months of your article ship in november 21 so you can write that exam and you can know the details of leaves under each article ship article ship one you worked for 365 days you took 62 days of leave actual period served and what is the excess leave so now let me edit this article ship date and add one more article ship so i'll make it 2017 so after i change the date let me add article ships so i'll add one more article ship let's say and suraj right let's assume i started this in first of september and it's an ongoing article ship i'll just submit right now it says your revised end date is 31st of august 
and final exam eligibility is May 21. Leave taken says zero. How is it zero? Because in this particular duration, on the base of whatever leaves date I have updated, I was not under article shape. So I can add leaves detail, right? So I'll add leave 1st of December to 17th of December. I'll just submit this, right? Then it says, yes, you have taken 17 days of leave. Still, your end date doesn't change. And because your article ship ends on 31st of August, your exam eligibility is May 21. Now, if I add more leaves, let's say I took leave from 2018, 1st of July till September 30th. If I took three months leave, just for example, if I submit that, it automatically calculates what are the excess leave and your article ship end date is automatically revised to 17th of October, right? So this is how this tracker will help you. You just need to keep updating your details and it will also help you whenever you have an argument with your principal. The principal might come up and say, hey, you have been taking so much of leave. You can say, sir, I have not taken so much of leaves. These are the dates on which I have taken leaves and this was the reason for leave. It could be a sick leave, it could be a medical emergency, you would have attended some function, whatever is that. And while updating the leaves, don't count the examination days, that is your November when you write examination or in May when you write examination, those dates are not counted as leaves. I hope this leave tracker will help you to you know, keep a track of your leaves very handy, right? And it will be stored in your account and even if you, you know, move on to other devices, you can access from that devices. And in case of any conflict with your principal or at a later date, if you have to figure out what are the leaves that you have taken, it will be helpful. So what are you waiting for? Do download the app and do share this app with your friends.